Oh, what's up, collective? How y'all feeling? How y'all doing? Let's get into a wee hours tea. This is for my night hours. But whenever you come across this, what's up, y'all? <laughs> welcome back, those of you that's returning. And welcome if you are new and tapping in for the first time. I'm happy to have each and every one of you here with me, guys. Thank you for all the love and support y'all been showing me in the channel. Thank you for the likes, the comments, the shares, subscribes, donations. I greatly appreciate it all. You guys are amazing. Super, super amazing. All right, y'all. We about to get into it. We about to see what's in the energy for y'all. Um, Where is that? Oh, right here. I just want to light a little bit of dragon's blood. Just give me a second. I said, ooh, girl. Shock me like an electric field. Baby girl. Turning me on with the electric field. I said, ooh, girl. Okay. You shock me like an electric field. Baby girl, you're turning on the electric field. I'll do what you feel now. Electric feel now. Do what you feel now. Electric feel now. Somebody here could be listening to MGMT. Mm -hmm. Or maybe that's just because I keep listening to that song. I keep hearing that song, Electric Feel by MGMT. I've been chilling that song for like the past month. Anything change the world. You are my electric girl. I said, ooh, girl. You shook me like an electric feel, baby girl. You're turning me on with the electric feel. I said, Oh, girl, you shook me like an electric feel, baby girl. You're turning me on with the electric feel. All right, y'all. We, I was T. Spirit is telling me bring out the kipper. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's see what's going on in the energy, guys. Take only what resonates with you and leave the rest with somebody else out there. Everything you hear may not necessarily be for you. Take only what resonates with you. Three more shuffles for my collective. Holy Spirit, what messages do you have for them? What is it that you want them to know during this time? Spirit, what messages do you have for my divine collective? Oh, I got up at 333. Some of y'all could be seeing angel number 333. All right, let's see, y'all. Official person, okay, 22. Some of you could also be seeing angel number 222. But we have official person here in the upright. We have an official person message, okay? Some of you could be receiving a message from an official person, or this official person has received some sort of message. Somebody here could be born on the 22nd of a month. Somebody here could be a light path number four. Somebody here could be born in February, possibly an Aquarius or a Pisces. Somebody here could be born in July, possibly a Cancer or a Leo. Somebody here could be born on the 7th of a month. Somebody here could be a Life Path number 7. Somebody here could be born on the 30th of a month. Um, some of you guys, again, seeing angel number 333. You could be seeing 222, 777. You could be seeing a lot of 2s, 7s, and 3s. Somebody's birthday could be July 30th, July 22nd. Somebody's birthday could be April 7th, April 30th. All right. Somebody's birthday could be February 22nd, February 7th, February 30th. Somebody um, definitely has been seeing a lot of twos, a lot of sevens, or a lot of threes. 222-777-333 is what I'm getting here. 
All right, but some uh, an official person could have received a message of concern. Okay, yes, we got message of concern here, yeah, adjudication. So maybe somebody here has gotten some sort of um, special delivery. Okay, somebody here could have got served. All right, somebody here could have definitely got served. All right. <clears throat> Yep, message of concern at the bottom of the deck. Official person, message, adjudication, message of concern. Somebody here could have got a message here that they got a court date, okay, that they're getting served here in some way here. All right, 14. Somebody here could be born on the 14th of a month, the 5th of a month. Somebody here could be born in May, possibly um, a Taurus or a Gemini. But yeah. An official person has received a message, a message of concern, adjudication. All right. Somebody here is going to have a choice to make here. 15. Somebody here could be born on the 15th of a month. Somebody here could be born on the 6th of a month. Somebody here could be born in June, possibly a Gemini or a Cancer. Family room. Okay, this has a lot to do with someone leaving something behind. Somebody here could be making a choice to leave some people behind, a community of people or family. This family room is empty. Somebody here could be born on the 21st of a month, the 12th of a month. Somebody here could be born in December, possibly a Sagittarius or a Capricorn. Somebody here could be born in March, possibly a Pisces or an Aries. Somebody here definitely seeing 333. Somebody here could be between the ages of 30 to 37. Somebody here could be dealing with a Gemini, a Capricorn, a Cancer, a Pisces, an Aries, an Aquarius, a Taurus. Those signs could be significant. Somebody here could be born on the 16th of a month. Again, with the sevens, we got 777. Somebody here is going a distance and they not thinking twice about it. Somebody here could be trying to run away from the law. Like, if somebody here received a, a document that they got to go to court, somebody here could be um trying to, like, somebody here know that they going down, so it's like they escaping. Like, somebody here plan on not being around. So, it's like, if some official people come looking for this person, you know, it's like the whole family room is empty. It's like, this motherfucker has disappeared. It's like, where are they? They could be across a body of water. This person could even be going back to their country, is what I just heard. So, this could be somebody that is from a different country. Especially if somebody's living in the States right now. But somebody here plan on, like just getting the hell out of dodge like somebody here has received some sort of documentation and instead of them you know <laughs> complying it's like oh i'm catching the next flight i'm catching the next boat out this bitch like i don't know it's really giving that energy like somebody is fleeing somebody is fleeing they're fleeing they whole family could be leaving or they leaving a family the family moving somebody here could just be getting up picking up moving I'm hearing somebody here could be doing something at night. So somebody here could just be deciding to move or travel, relocate in the middle of the night. Yeah, somebody here is leaving. We have child in the reverse, 18. Somebody here could be born on the 18th of a month, the 9th of a month. Somebody here could be born in August, possibly a Leo. A Leo or a Virgo. Somebody here could be born in September, Virgo or Libra. Somebody here could be born on the 9th or the 18th of a month. Somebody here could be a life path number nine. Somebody here leaving, y'all. Collective, whoever you are, you showing up as the privileged lady. You got a lot of positive changes that's coming into your life. But whoever this is that's trying to flee that's trying to leave it's because they don't want to go to jail so whatever documents they received especially if it has to do with them going to some sort of uh court hearing or anything like that 
this person knows for a fact that there's some sort of gel time here attached to that in some way. Yeah, this is karma, 29. That's a karmic number as well. Somebody here could be 29 years old. Somebody here could be born on the 29th of a month. Somebody here could be born on the 11th of a month. Somebody here could be born in November. Possibly a Scorpio or a Saggy. Somebody here... Um, somebody here could have got ratted on. That's how somebody feels. Somebody feels like somebody ratted on them. Somebody snitched on them. Somebody told on them. This person refuses to go to jail, okay? So, they fleeing. I told you, for some of you, uh, somebody here is leaving the country here overnight or some shit like that. Somebody here could, uh, again, be born in September, Virgo, Libra. And I got December, again, Sagittarius, Capricorn. I'm also getting March, again, uh, Pisces, Aries. Somebody here could be born on the 12th of a month, the 9th of a month. Somebody here could be a life path number three. Uh, again, with those threes, I'm getting 333 right here. I'm also getting 999, 911, 119, 919. Somebody here could be a life path number nine. But privileged lady change. There's some changes happening with a privileged lady or somebody here. They're going through changes and they're becoming a privileged lady. Okay. Collective, maybe this is you becoming a privileged lady. There could be a lot of positive forward movement in your life. And something here is happening where you're becoming a privileged lady. You could be gifted a house or you could be moving to a house. Yeah, main female. 20. Somebody here could be born on the 20th of a month. Again, with those twos, we got two, 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 two. So we got two, 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 two. You're a privileged lady collective. This is also giving me the energy of a setup, a crooked judge as well. Somebody here may know that. And so that's another reason why they're getting the hell out of Dodge. Somebody feel like they're being set up in some way. Collective, who, whoever you could be, you know, again, you turn it into the privileged lady. I told you. Um, it's like you got changes coming into your life. But whatever these changes are, it's turning you into a privileged lady. Some of you could be moving, buying a home, or a house could be being gifted to some of y'all. But you got great fortune here as well. Uh, somebody here could have um, a life path number seven, life path three, life path nine. Something significant about those numbers, 739, 937, 397. You know, something significant about three, nine, and seven. Again, somebody's born in July as well. Somebody here could be born on the 26th of a month. I just heard September 26th for somebody here. So somebody here could be on the cusp of Virgo Libra. But there's some great fortune here coming. Change for a, a, a woman to become a privileged lady. Change, change for a main female to turn into a privileged lady, to have a beautiful home and great fortune. And somebody else is like running away going going across the body of water here leaving yeah this is unexpected unexpected income for this main female somebody here don't want you to receive this though like somebody here there's a main male in the reverse here that doesn't want a main female to receive some sort of great fortune unexpected income they don't want this person to become a privileged lady and have this home have this wealth this main male is the one that could have got a letter here and could be leaving. Somebody here could also be trying to fake their death. Are you kidding me? Somebody here could be trying to fake their death. Something significant about a, a false birth, a false death certificate. Somebody here could have also wanted this main female, instead of becoming a privileged lady, this they wanted this person to go into poverty or they wanted this person to pass away. But whoever this main female is, they're held in high honor. So collective, if somebody here was trying to put y'all in poverty or put y'all in a motherfucking coffin here, 919, 919, as I'm saying that, 911, you held in high honor. Collective 911, this is an emergency. The spirit realm has been alerted about this. If somebody here was trying to put y'all in the ground or put y'all in poverty, that shit went to spiritual court here. This person has, um, they got a target on their back. 
the ancestors are, are watching this person, your spirit God, your spirit team, God himself is watching this person. This person is not going to get away with this. This person is not going to get far. I, I'm hearing they're not going to get far. They're not going to get far. On, the, on their travels, they're going to get caught up here. Or when they touch down to wherever they think they're going to successfully uh, transport to, they're, they're going to get caught over there. It's something here where this person is not getting far. But collective, whoever you are, main female, you're getting some sort of unexpected income, great fortune in the house. Yeah, main female, unexpected income, great fortune all together here. And then we got gift in the reverse. Somebody here didn't want you to receive this blessing. They didn't want you to receive this gift. Main male in the reverse didn't want you to receive this. This could have been something left to you from your ancestors. And somebody here was trying to hide this. You somebody held in high honor, but somebody was trying to put you in the ground or put you in poverty. You're somebody that's not supposed to be poverty stricken and it definitely wasn't your time to go. There's a mature woman that was in on this as well. There's a married couple that was in on this. This married couple was expecting you to be in poverty or in the ground. And now all of these people are in despair. Somebody here could somebody here that was plotting against y'all and this married couple or this mature older woman here or this main male in the reverse. These people are actually in bad health. This main male could have been somebody that wanted to court you. This main male in the reverse is somebody that wanted to court you, privileged lady, main female. And then there's a married couple here and then there's a mature woman, an older woman. All of these people are in despair and in bad health because you still going on your path. Somebody here wanted to, to steal. This main male in the reverse, they wanted to steal. They wanted to steal and go on a journey here. This could be somebody in your community. The plan was to steal something of yours or to help these people, to help this married couple, to help this mature woman in taking something from you, putting you in the ground or putting you in poverty. And this person that was in the community, they were still going to go on this journey. After they collected their part of the deal, their, their portion of some sort of money here, they was going, they had plans to get the hell out of Dodge. This person was going to collect off of your head in some way or form, some way, shape or form. And they was going to um, get the fuck. And now they still trying to get the fuck out of Dodge. They still trying to get out and, and, and travel here, but they trying to travel to get away from karma. They trying to travel to make sure that they don't have to go to jail here. So it's like they still traveling, but they traveling without the money that they thought that they was going to get. This person in this community promised this married couple, this older woman, and this main male in the reverse that they would be able to put you in poverty or they would be able to put you in the ground. And after they successfully put you in poverty or in the ground, these people was going to collect and they was going to split it. These people was planning on splitting some sort of money about three, four, five, six different ways here. But it it was unsuccessful. We got thief in the reverse here, wealthy man in the reverse. This person is not a wealthy man. They're a thief. And, but this person didn't successfully um, put you in poverty or in the ground. You very much so alive. You very much so, uh, you know, still pushing and moving and thriving. And you getting everything that is supposed to be granted to you. Everything that you're supposed to get, Spirit said that you're going to get it. This is something that is old to you. And this is old. I'm hearing this is old money. This is, this is, your ancestor said, this is old money. This is something that you've been, you were supposed to then get this shit. And they said, this motherfucker ain't getting far. Whoever this is that's involved in a community that's trying to run, they said, this person is not getting far. Wherever they think they're going, the spirit is on their ass. This person got a target on their back. I'm hearing it's a red dot on their back. This person is marked. They thought they was going to be a wealthy man. Somebody could be born on the 13th of a month, the 4th of a month, the 24th of a month, the 10th of a month. Somebody here could be, um, or you, you or this person, some of y'all, you could be born in October. <laughs> you could be born on the 10th, the 13th, or the 24th of a month. Somebody here could be born September 24th, October 13th, October 5th, October 4th. September 30th. Somebody here could be between the ages of 24 to 39. Some of y'all seeing 555. This did not go as planned. Main female, you still getting some sort of unexpected income, great fortune in the house. You are becoming a privileged lady because your ancestor said that's your birthright to be in this privileged lady energy. Somebody here, this main male in the reverse was working really hard 
to make sure that you didn't receive this. But this is something that's given to you from the divine himself, the creator himself. Whatever this is, this is being given to you from your ancestors and from God, from the divine. This is why the it wasn't successful. This is why it, it the plan was never going to be executed properly. It wasn't going to be successful. Somebody here is passing away, though. It's not who the target was. It's not you, main female privileged lady. It could be this main male in the reverse here that's going to pass away or face some sort of poverty because this person was the mastermind be behind all of this. This mature woman in the reverse could be passing away as well. This could be this older woman here. This older woman here is sick in the head is what I'm hearing. This is somebody that wasn't even concerned about anything. Like even if it was going to work or it wasn't going to work, she didn't care. And she didn't care who got hurt in this situation. Even the people that she worked together with, she didn't care about them either. It's like no loyalty amongst these people. But it's never any loyalty amongst thieves. I feel like now these people are turning on each other. Which is why this person that received some sort of letter here is leaving in the community. They fleeing because they realize that these people that they work together with or that they promised that they was going to do something to you. You know, they promised these people they was going to do something to you so that they could all collect and split this money they're realizing that these people are rats they're realizing that these people <clears throat> could have ratted on them or ratted them out or told on them somebody here feel like somebody told on them in some way but the thing is is that when you do something like this when you plot and scheme against a high somebody that's held in high honor a chosen one you immediately have a target on your back you you you're not going to get away with anything when you fucking with god's chosen so I don't think somebody here realizes that at all. Because if they did, they would have never agreed to this shit. <sighs> well, then. <laughs> okay, Spirit, come through with the messages tonight. So somebody that could be in y'all community or fake friends group, take it as it resonates. Motherfuckers was supposed to split some shit. You were supposed to be in poverty collective or in the ground. These motherfuckers was going to be eating good and splitting splitting that shit. Whoever this main male in the reverse is, this person is showing up as the emperor in the reverse. I told you, this is somebody that wanted to court you. This is somebody that wanted to court you. And you could have turned this person down or they feel like you just don't want to deal with them. And so they didn't feel bad about turning on you. They didn't feel bad about plotting and scheming to take from you in some way. They didn't mind collaborating with this person in the community. They didn't mind collaborating with, you know, some sort of married couple here or this mature woman. This mature woman and married couple could be people in your actual family for some of you. You got karmic family members. Or this could even be people in their family. But there's a married couple here that was involved. There's a false twin, a uh, false divine masculine and emperor in the reverse. And then there's somebody here in the community that is trying to get away from karma here. This per yeah, I told you the chariot because whatever they did, it was wrong here. This was uh, injustice. I told you this person is receiving some sort of message of concern. They could have received some sort of official document, some sort of mail. And with the chariot here, they are flying. This person is flying, okay? Like, they're flying. They could be trying to actually fly, get on a plane here. They could be trying to board a plane. But somebody here is trying to go far away. They said, fuck that. I'm not going to jail about this shit. I'm not going to jail fucking with this Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. This Queen of Pentacles in the reverse is the mature woman. But mature woman came out in the reverse because she's acting very immature. I can't make it up. The Empress in the reverse. This could this could be somebody supposed to be matriarch of the family. But this person is very money hungry. They'll do anything for money. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Empress reverse. This person made a decision here to go against y'all collective. To take from y'all. And they gathered up a bunch of people to do their dirty deeds for them. This is somebody that was given orders. Whoever this Queen of Pentacles in the reverse, Empress reverse, this is somebody that wasn't really hands on. This person didn't really make much moves at all. If anything, they was just given orders. Yeah, this Empress in the reverse is the one that was just given orders. Whoever this is, y'all stop communicating with this person. Eight of Wands in the reverse. If you had any 
line of communication open with this empress in the reverse collective you could stop talking to this person okay or you need to spirit is encouraging you to stop talking to this empress in the reverse queen of pentacles in the reverse cut this person or stop communicating with them you need to or you could have you could have already did that collective whoever you are privileged lady main female in the upright you showing up as the queen of cups you're very loving, very loving, very nurturing, very giving, very kind, very compassionate. This is something that you didn't deserve. This is why your protection is so crazy. Your ancestors are really protecting you. Yeah, I'm hearing that you have supernatural strength. You could be a water sign, okay? You could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or you could be a Leo. These people that plotted against you are all watching you. Their eyes are on you during this time. They're watching you because they can't believe your strength. They just knew for a fact that what they was doing was going to work. You was either supposed to be homeless, fucked up, in poverty, or you were supposed to be in the ground, six feet under. One or the other. Okay? But you actually are getting everything you deserve, privileged lady. You turn it into the privileged lady, and you're the one that's moving forward triumphantly with the chariot here. You could be a cancer. A Scorpio Pisces, you could be a Leo, or you could have strong water or Leo placements for some of you. Somebody here want to return now that this plan has not worked. Eight of Cups in a reverse. But this is somebody that feels like you're the one that got away or they missed out on an opportunity to be with you. I feel like you don't trust anybody from the past that's trying to return and make you an offer. Somebody here is very attracted to you. Somebody here finds you very attractive. You could also have strong fire placements somewhere in your chart. Okay, I did say Leo. Leo is a fire sign. Some of you have Aries or Sagittarius placements. I'm also getting here. You can have Aquarius placements. But whoever you are, you're, you know, the sun here. Again, with the Leo energy. You somebody that has raw energy. You have God. Oh, wow. This is making, wow. The sun and the magician. Yo, everything comes full circle. I told y'all about the guy in the post office today that told me that he could see God on me. Um, I just heard that you have God on you. You have God's light on you. You have raw energy, the sun energy, the sun God. Okay, Ra protects you. That's what I heard. Ra protects you. Some of you have Egyptian ties as well. But you showing up as a magician. You showing up as a manifester, someone that's held in high honor. You could also be manifesting a divine union, a partnership, or your divine counterpart is calling out for you, and spirit is about to align you two together here. Just have patience, earth angel, temperance energy. Just have patience in this situation, Sagittarius energy, temperance, earth angel. But somebody here wants you to be patient with them, and they trying to come back from the past. Whoever this person is that's trying to come back from the past is somebody that y'all don't really want to deal with. But this is somebody that can't stop thinking about you. Whoever this past person is trying to come in and communicate to you, this is somebody that you view as very childish. This person could actually even have a baby on the way by somebody else. Somebody here could be pregnant by this person for some of you. This person worked together with a dark witch, okay? They worked together with a practitioner here to do something to you, and that didn't work. And now this person wants to come back around hoping that you didn't know that you don't know about their involvement in this situation. This person that want to come back around to you guys is a player. They're showing up as the king of wands in the reverse. This person could be an Aries, Leo, or Sag, or they could have strong fire placements in their chart. But this is somebody here that wants to come in, partner up with you, and celebrate with you because they know that you are the privileged lady now. Because this plot, this plan did not work against you, this, this shit did not work. You are not in poverty. You are not homeless. You are not in the ground. You are not dead. This person now wants to come back around and return and celebrate with you. But with the Ace of Wands in the reverse, that's getting rejected. Spirit is not about to allow this King of Wands in the reverse to eat good with you after the fact that they knew what was going on and they even participated here. The will has turned, the tables have turned in a major way. This is a fucking plot twist for these people. These people got their mouths wide open. They got egg on their face during this time. Their jaws are on the floor. They did not see this coming. They didn't think that this would ever work out in your favor. These people thought you was going to be gone here. Okay? Somebody here really thought you was going to be gone. I'm, I'm, I'm hearing Hades. Okay? Something significant about Hades. Hell. Okay, somebody here thought you was held down.
somebody here could have been trying to attach some sort of entity to you as well lower level entities yeah somebody here was trying to keep you held down trapped stuck binded you know Bind it to poverty, bind it to misfortune, or take you out completely. When somebody realized that they couldn't bind you into being poverty stricken or bind you to misfortune, then they said, we're just going to take you out altogether. But they didn't realize that you was held in high honor. This wasn't going to work. Four of Wands in the reverse and the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. These people are now suffering, okay? If any of these people were in relationships, they're breaking up. Their happy homes are falling apart. These people could be losing their jobs. They're losing a lot of money here. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. These people that paid other people and bribed them to go against you and paid people in the community to go against you. All of these people are losing money. And if they're married, they're having issues with their spouse. They're having issues in their family life and their personal lives. They're having issues in their home now. Yeah, Ten of Cups reverse, Nine of Cups reverse, Four of Wands reverse, and the Ten of Pentacles reverse. When I tell you these people taking back-to-back -back L's, okay, I'm hearing collective, get ready for back-to-back -back wins. You got back-to-back -back consecutive wins here for you, and these people got back-to-back -back losses. Their karma is going to be extreme. Spirit said their karma is going to be extreme. Extreme karma for these people. But you got the Eight of Wands to the Ace of Wands. Your new beginning is here. Consider yourself already in your new beginning, despite how you may feel. Consider yourself already in your new beginning. This whole plan to put you in the Five of Pentacles was never going to work. The only person that's in the Five of Pentacles are these people that worked against you. Collective, you showing up as the Queen of Swords. You somebody that's too intelligent to be in the Five of Pentacles. You could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or you could have strong air placements in your chart. Queen of Swords, Queen of Cups. Yeah, and somebody here really want to come towards you, partner up with you, or somebody here wants to invest in you. Um, somebody here could be wanting to work together with you. Somebody here could also be trying to get you to invest your money in some bullshit here. So be very mindful. This person is showing up as the King of Pentacles in reverse. This is somebody that's an opportunist. This is somebody that'll do anything for money. This person could be a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, but this is somebody that y'all need to be uh, mindful of. This person does not mean you well. This person has scar energy. Y'all remember scar from the Lion King, right? This person is a snake. They are also working together with a witch here. I'm hearing there's a witch in your community that was attacking you. This person was also bribed to do some things to you to put you in poverty or to put you in the ground. Yeah, a queen of cups in the reverse. This bitch was doing death spells on y'all. Okay, she's very emotionally manipulative and she's very man emotionally manipulative and very emotionally unstable. And she wanted to make you unstable. I heard that she was supposed to create some sort of mental illusions for you. She was doing mental magic. You were supposed to be out your mind collected. Whoever you are, you were supposed to be out your mind. These people worked really hard in your community to attack your foundation and to attack your mind. It didn't work. None of it worked. You still happy. You were the nine of cups energy. These people are watching you. Like, you're a fucking alien or, you know, you unreal. Something is going on. It's like they're looking at you like you're a fucking avatar, like you're a robot. Because all this conflict and chaos magic and mental magic and shit that they did on you, none of it works. Collective, whoever you are, main female turning into the privileged lady, you the fucking empress. You the empress in the upright. You a whole goddess out here. And this king of pentacles in the reverse is still plotting on you. Okay, so you got somebody that's in this scar energy, scar from the Lion King. This person is still feeling some type of way. I'm hearing they feeling jaded. This person still wants to come towards you. This is somebody that feels like they can woo you. They see how loving, how compassionate, and how kind you are. This person is watching you like a Hulk right now in this King of Pentacles in reverse. And they're trying to study you so that they can know how to approach you. Or they want to study you so that they can see what you like. They'll know how to approach you and they'll know how to seduce you or entice you or get you to trust them. Collective, don't trust no fucking body at this time. That's how it's really showing up. Okay, y'all don't really need to be trusting no damn body at this time. It's what Spirit is saying. This situation is over. Consider this shit over. This is why people are now trying to run. Somebody here is not taking any action. They just observing you. 
That's what I'm hearing. It could be this King of Pentacles in the reverse that I saw. Give me something on the hangman. Yeah. This is somebody here that tried to send you a lot of attacks, but it didn't work. This person... This person is trying to keep you trapped or stuck or binded to a, to your current situation. So wherever you reside at, wherever you stay, somebody here is now trying to keep you stuck there. First, they was trying to get you to leave or be, be homeless or be in poverty or be in the ground. None of that works. So now somebody here is trying to keep you stuck. Somebody here is trying to keep you stuck in place where you are. That's not going to work either, though. Collective, I see many of you um, moving the cell in the karma waters, like literally. Somebody here knows that you're not confused. Somebody here knows that you're not confused. Somebody here also knows that you're not worried. Like somebody here wanted you to feel stuck, to feel trapped. Somebody here wanted you to feel binded and, re and, and restricted. Somebody here wanted to place anxiety on you, anxiety, fear, and worry. But with this being in the reverse, I feel like you're peaceful, you're calm, you're balanced. You're not worried about anything. You're not stuck. You're not restricted. You're still making the moves that you need to make. And there's a king of swords in the reverse that's pissed, okay? This person could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or they could have strong air in their chart. This King of Swords in the reverse is pissed off because you're somebody here that's not in anxiety. Somebody here wanted you to be codependent and fear, feeling trapped, feeling stuck, feeling like you bind it, like you can't move forward. You miserable. You want to make moves, but you can't. You don't have the means. You don't have the resources. You don't have the money to do it. It's like somebody here just wanted you to be in fear and feeling like you have no direction. You have nowhere to go. And you also isolated. You have no help. But that cycle is coming to an end with the world card here. That cycle has already come to an end. I said it's coming to an end. Spirit said it already came to an end. The world card. Spirit said it has already come to an end. And now I told you, because none of this is working, none of it has worked, and none of it's working, somebody here now wants to come back around. Eight of Cups in the reverse. I'm hearing that for some of you, this shit has been going on for at least two years. Two years or even more for some of you. These people have been doing this shit. These people have been very patient and, and diligently, okay, working on you. Like, these people have been working over you, working on you over time, which is why they're looking at you like you some fucking avatar here. Because anybody else that they would have did all of this to, something would have happened. These people would have ran away, left everything behind, you know, lost their mind, been put into some sort of psych ward, mental institution. Somebody here would have just you know, took themselves out. That's another thing somebody was hoping that you would have did. Somebody was hoping that you would have been so stressed out that you would have self-harmed, that you would have harmed yourself. You would have took yourself out. It's like none of this shit was ever going to work. You're a whole fucking empress. You're a whole goddess. These people did not know who they was coming for. These people had no idea who they was doing this shit on. They didn't know. And for some of you, if they did know, they took that as a personal challenge and they fucked around and found out the hard way that God's chosen, God's elect cannot be fucked with. This karma about to be crazy for these people, whether they feeling it or not, I'm telling you, somebody here's karma is about to be crazy. Somebody here could be seeing merit numbers or collective. You could be seeing merit numbers. 21, 12 is what I'm hearing. Okay, 12, 21. Something significant about 212. 222. That's good. That could be somebody's area code. 212. Yeah, collective. Whoever you are, you keep showing up as the Queen of Cups. You're very loving. Okay. Very loving. Very compassionate. Very genuine. Very kind. But you're not, you're not a sucker though. This is what somebody is is failing to realize. Because you are a nice person, somebody here feels like, you know, like you easily manipulated or you know. You you naive because you nice. Like you don't know what's going on. You so naive. You you too nice. But collective, that's just your nature to be like that. You are earth angel. You work for the divine. God is on you. God is working on you. So of course you're nice. But I mean, you you good hearted, you're kind, but you're not you're not dumb, you know, you're not ignorant. You're not um yeah, you're not ignorant. That's the best way I could describe it. You're not ignorant. Nothing about you is ignorant. You know exactly what's going on. I feel like you've been knew what was going on. 
you God just told you to wait in place and let things play out. Spirit told you don't make a move and to just let things play out. You get your you you get your um orders from the divine from God Himself. You have a direct line of communication with the Most High, and the Most High is directing you how to play this situation out how to work in this situation and God could have told y'all to just stay put stay still he's working on this case for you somebody here sees that nothing ended in your life somebody here could have also found out that you're somebody that's in the public eye so for some of you you could have a platform you could have a public presence or you could be very popular somebody one of your ops or all of your ops know this now people know this these people could even be watching you on a center stage or they they watching you through social media i'm hearing cyber bullying okay i'm hearing cyber bullying or what's that um they're monitoring you or they're trying to okay monitoring spirits cyber stalking cyber bullying um but yeah game stalking that's what i just heard Cyberbullying, cyber stalking, game stalking, uh, monitoring spirits. These people are keeping a close eye on you. Some of these people are like really impressed. It's like they're pissed, but at the same time, they're impressed. They never seen anything like it. They they never had to attack somebody of your status, of your rank. They never they never knew this shit was even possible. Somebody here worked with very powerful practitioners. Somebody here could have even travel to get some sort of work done on you and that shit backfired on a practitioner that lived a million miles away from y'all. Somebody here like, who the fuck are you? <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. Like, who the fuck is this for real? Like, somebody here could even be asking these people that they got bribed by. Like, who is this person that y'all got me doing this shit to? Like, for real, tell me who this person is. There's a King of Cups in the reverse here that's scared that they may pass away. So this could have been the person that was doing the death spells on y'all. Somebody here could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or a Taurus. They could have that in their chart. I'm also hearing Capricorn. But this person feels like, you know, death is coming into their life. They feel like there's some sort of endings happening in their life. They could have actually experienced an ending already of some sort. Whether that's something just ending in their life abruptly or somebody in their family passing away. There's also somebody here that wants you to see them as the, as your true love. They're not. There could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or a Virgo here that wanted you to see them as your true love. This person wanted to partner up with you, come in and work together with you, but you have no attraction for this person. Even if this is somebody from your past that you used to deal with, you no longer resonate with this person's energy. Y'all are not on the same frequency. And it's like collective, whoever you are, you're not attracted to anybody that you're not on the same frequency as. Your vibration has elevated so much that you, your body, your mind, and everything automatically rejects anyone that's not of the same vibration as you. So whoever this King of Cups in the reverse is, this false lover here, this person wanting to come in and work together with you. They know that they are not on your level, you know, spiritually, emotionally, mentally. They know that they're not on your level, but they was just hoping that you didn't know that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They they knew that they wasn't, but they was just hoping that you didn't know. And they was hoping that you had some sort of lustful ways about you, okay? They was hoping that you would give into your carnal nature, your, your uh, worldly desires or some sort of lust here. This person wanted to seduce you, but that's not working here. Now this person feel like a lot of people are looking at them like they crazy. A lot of people know what this person was doing. A lot of people know what these people were doing. There's a lot of talk around the town, especially the ones that was in your community. There's a lot of talk and there's a lot of talk in the town here about what was going on with you. Everybody knows. This is not a secret. Everybody knows. Collective, you may be seeing people being nicer to you now or you know, just looking at you and it's like just staring at you. That's because they know who you are and that's because they know what the fuck is going on here. Somebody here know about all the magic that was being sent your way. And so motherfuckers just staring at you like, you know, they did such and such to her. 
you know, yeah, I think she looked good too. Man, that's a powerful woman right there. I don't know. She, I, they said something about an earth angel. You ever heard of one of those? You, you know, like that's how people are talking about y'all. <laughs> oh, these motherfuckers is chit-chatting around the town, man. They looking at you. Yeah, somebody here is like, oh my God. They don't know what to do here. Somebody here is restless. This person that's in this scar energy, this person that worked together with this practitioner, this the these people here that did this injustice, they are worried, they are concerned, they are in fear here. Somebody here could be an Aquarius, a Pisces, a Virgo, a Libra, a Sagittarius. These people are in fear because they like, there is a God. You know, you are making some non-believers believers collective. This whole situation playing out the way it is. Some people were non-believers and they believing in something now. They like, shit, it's, it's something. It's a higher power. Well, yeah, if you believe in the devil, baby, then why you don't believe that there's a God? You know, like these people are like, something is going on. There's a higher power, man. There is. Okay. But the Hierophant to the Ten of Cups collective, you're good. You're good. You're sailing the karma waters. Um, you definitely, again, with that house energy and ten of cups, you going places, beautiful places. I'm hearing bigger and better. Take it as it resonates. And somebody here that wanted to cause some sort of illusions for you still want to come in and celebrate. Somebody here still want to secretly come in and celebrate or court you in some way. This is a false person. This is somebody that's very sexual as well. This is somebody that sleeps around. They're very promiscuous. This is somebody from your past that's bitter about you receiving this abundance. So somebody from your past that's bitter, that's very promiscuous, that sleeps around and think that they could come in and seduce you in some way. This person is mad because they wanted to partner up with you. They wanted to celebrate with you because they know that you're coming into the Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. Somebody here knows that you are the privileged lady now. Somebody here knows that you have a lot of abundance and fortune and security surrounding you during this time. Yeah, they know this. And they mad because you know not to trust them. Yeah, you're not trusting them. You're looking at this person like they're fucking crazy. You're like, absolutely not. You don't want nothing to do with this person. This is somebody that really think that they could come towards you here. But whoever you are, you very independent. This person just wants to come in because they want some of your treasures. You see this treasure chest with all this gold and, you know, all these trinkets and blessings and shit. This person knows that that's what you have. They just want a key to your treasure box. They just want to unlock your treasure box. Treasure box meaning being intimate with you, having sex with you, sleeping with you. But also your treasure box, as in your blessings, your gifts, whatever you, whatever it is that you're receiving, privileged lady, this person want parts of that. They want parts of you and they want parts of some sort of uh, abundance that you have. Yeah, this person is sending you the evil eye. You got a lot of people sending you the evil eye during this time, but I feel like you don't give a fuck about none of this because you're still moving forward triumphantly. These people that are um, in this devil energy, they are binded to the devil the same way they wanted you to be have lower entities attached to you and be binded and be trapped and, and, and stuck and, you know, restricted and shit like that. These people that wanted to cause some sort of lower entity uh, bondage here, these people are now bonded to that. They're binded to the devil now and they're sending you the evil eye. The devil got a, a tight grip on these motherfuckers. He has collected their souls and they're just watching you, sending you the evil eye, but you don't care. These people are also doing some sort of word magic, okay? So they still fucking around. They doing some sort of word magic and projecting onto you, but you are somebody that's still moving forward triumphantly. The fool card. You don't give a fuck about none of this. You're like, yeah, I know they sending me energy. Yeah, I know they projecting onto me. I know they saying everything, whatever they saying, they need to be careful about what they saying because that shit is happening to them. This is what they don't realize. These people are now actually poverty stricken. These people have cursed themselves. They're, they're, they've cursed themselves. Some of these people even cursed their whole bloodlines. And some of these people are definitely poverty stricken. They've cursed their finances. The same way that you were supposed to be in poverty or in the ground, this is what's happening. In, this is what happened. This is what's happening in their life. They're now poverty stricken and people could actually be losing their life or have lost their life. 
this was a dangerous game they played coming for you. They saying this shit was not worth it. Yeah, it's coming to an end. It's come to an end. The tower and the world card. This shit is over. You are not heartbroken. You are not stuck. You are not in fear. You are not trapped. You are still living your best fucking life. You are the victor. And now they're mad at the people that they got bribed by. They're mad at the people that they um talk to. You know, they mad at the... And then the people that bribed them, the people that hired them, they're mad too. Everybody mad at everybody. This shit was a, a, a terrible, a terrible fucking plan. A terrible plan. That's how these people feel. But somebody here is saying that it wasn't a terrible plan. It's just that you're somebody that's very protected. Somebody here like, man, fuck that. Don't nobody got that much protection. Well, uh, yeah, you do. So, and this Emperor in the Reverse is watching you. Uh, Emperor in the Reverse is watching you receive everything that you're supposed to have. They're going to watch you sail the calmer waters. Your road is open. Your pathway is clear to chariot. This person sees that judgment is being called in the situation. And you're very happy. Nine of Cups. You're being vindicated here. You're going from the Nine of Cups to the Ten of Cups. The Nine of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles. Earth Angel. Four of Wands. All your blessings and manifestations is coming in. You're getting everything that you're supposed to be getting. And then some. It's like you're getting everything that you're supposed to be getting. But you also getting more on top of that. A lot of y'all are being rewarded just for successfully going through this. This was some sort of elevation for you. Like for them, this was a challenge. They thought that this was actually going to work. But God said this shit was never going to work. This was actually meant to happen this way because it was a part of your initiation or your elevation to the next level. You, you, this was a part of you know, you get into the next level. Like you had to go through something like this. And also the people that was involved, that was a part of your life. They needed this to happen so that these people can't be a part of your life moving forward in this next cycle. God didn't want none of these people nowhere near you. So he set it up where these people could betray you and things could actually be vividly seen. Like you would actually be able to see who is who. And God wanted it like this because he didn't want these people nowhere near you in this next cycle. Because you would have shared with these people. You would have looked out for these people. And God said they never deserved it. So he he works in mysterious ways. You know, the Lord works in mysterious ways. He's happy. These people feel like the plan wasn't executed. God said, mission accomplished. The plan definitely was executed the way he wanted it. He said everything happened the, the exact way he wanted it to. God is very pleased with the way this worked out here. God is like, yes, I'm so happy. The devil happy too, because the devil got so many souls off of this shit. The devil had a the devil has collected so many souls based off of this attempt on your life and shit like that. Well, collective, this was your we I was tea. All right. I hope that this message reached the right ears. I'm sure that it will. That's how spirit works. We 52 minutes in. There was a lot of messages that needed to come out. Like I said, I woke up at 333 and spirit told me to give y'all a message. So this is very important. This is confirmation for some of you guys. I love y'all. Continue to take care of yourselves. Congratulations on all your success and blessings. Congratulations in advance on everything that's coming towards you. And you guys deserve this. You're so strong. You're so powerful. You're unstoppable. You are a powerhouse. You are a force to be reckoned with. Um, you're amazing. You're fucking amazing. You high ranking. You the one. Okay? Yeah, you that one. You that one. <laughs> I'm going to talk to y'all. Peace.